Hey Pisces, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you have been here before. I appreciate you all so very much. This reading, Pisces, is going to be for you for the remainder of July, so the last couple of weeks, probably moving into August a little bit, time being fluid. Um, and just remember to take what flows to you and let the rest go. It may not be all your reading, right? Not everything might resonate with you because um, there's so many of us out there, right? All on different paths. Okay, Pisces, I think we should just get started. So let's begin. All right, Pisces, let's see what is going on for you for this last bit of July. All right, we have Six of Swords on the bottom. Uh, could be indicating here that you are moving away from something that was not really working for you and you are now moving towards something that is going to be much more fruitful. Okay, let's begin, Spirit. Show me clearly what is going on for Pisces, our water element. Last two weeks in July, or whenever they are called to this message, what do you have for them? The devil. The devil. Mm-hmm. Extra energy showing up here. Wow. Capricorn's card. Okay. So let's get the sixth card spread. The devil typically is a energy of feeling imprisoned. It's more of a toxic kind of energy, typically. Okay, we've got, what do we have? We've got some cards. Shall I shoot a note here? Use it. Okay. Um, oh, Eight of Swords is on the bottom. Okay. Okay, we're going to leave that there. All right. Two of Pentacles, the Hermit, Six of Cups, Two of Swords, King of Cups, and Strength. And we're going to go through this all. Um, we're going to start with the devil because that is the card that did flip out. The devil energy is feeling stuck, feeling like you don't have control over your life, but someone else does. Um, or you are in a situation in your life right now where you are feeling like you're not in control of it. Um, this can be an energy of quite um, heavy restrictions even. Uh, it, it feels like you are struggling with trying to break free from perhaps a person here. Um, it does feel a little bit, I'm, I'm picking up more on a romantic or a, what was once a romantic connection. Um, but it could be any kind of relationship. So please place it where it might fit if it does resonate with you. The devil energy though is like, it's like the, it, it has the clutches on you. It, you. It's just not releasing. It won't let go. It doesn't want to let you go. It wants to hold on to you because it is the devil, you know? Um, and the energy is not a good energy. Like it feels like if this is a person and it's representing this, this is the devil is representing a person in your life, Pisces. It feels like they don't want to let you go. It feels like um, an ex that is determined to try and keep some kind of ability to keep you in their grasp. Really, that's the energy that Spirit is giving me. And I feel like you are feeling this because the bottom of the deck, which is the overall energy of your reading here, is the Eight of Swords. And Eight of Swords is believing that you are stuck, feeling mentally like you are stuck. Um, it's like that no way out kind of energy, except it's like you are keeping yourself in that. Um, and I'm not saying in any way that this is an easy situation. In fact, I think that this is probably a very difficult situation that you're in. Um, but what, what Spirit always comes through with the Eight of Swords is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is that we always have a way to break free. It may not be an easy way. It may be very challenging to be able to break free. Um, but we, there is always a way out. Uh, you know, there is. It's just that we have to be able to have a mind that is clear so that we can find our way out. So I feel like you feel very stuck here. And it does feel that it was once or it still is. Some of you might be in this relationship still right now, um, knowing that it is unhealthy for you and knowing that you've got to get out of it, but you just don't know how to do it. So you're just kind of remaining in this um, perilous 
par paralyzed kind of energy, really, is what they're giving me. Because, and I feel like it is a, um, a romantic relationship, or was one, because of the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is showing up under the Eight of Swords. So Spirit is saying, look, this is about a relationship that at one time seemed like it was going to be really beautiful. Um, the Knight of Cups is very romantic, very vulnerable, very much um, mesmerizing. Can be a player, right? Um, can be that player where you really believe that they are as good as they say, and that, man, like almost like that energy that I'm picking up on is like too good to be true. Um, and there is that statement, as we all know, so I don't want to annoy you with it, but that, you know, uh, they're giving it to me. You know, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. And I feel like in this situation, that's exactly um, what is happened here. Um, probably really tried to romance you, probably really swooped you off your feet, um, perhaps gave you a lot of things. But underneath, they just wanted control. Um, and with the devil also, I feel like it is not only toxic, but I also feel like there's quite a bit of um, conflict here. Okay, and I'm going I'm to pull a clarifier on that. Um, but I want to go through the, the six card spread first. So we have the two of pentacles followed by the two of swords, Pisces. That's two twos. There is a difficult decision that you are trying to make. Two of Pentacles is like you have been in a situation where you're, you're juggling it. You're not making a choice yet. You know, she's holding on to these two, what look like purses um, with a Pentacle on either of them. But she's really just kind of like not doing anything. She's just kind of standing there considering, contemplating, but not doing anything. But she is also juggling them. One's above her head. So I feel like you've been juggling this for a bit. Um, probably juggling the devil energy now devil is capricorn but it could also be you know it could also be referring to another earth sign as well right it could be taurus it could be virgo yeah right i'm just gonna say the energies that they're giving me but underneath the two of pentacles is the two of swords it's like you've been juggling maybe for so long maybe you've been in this relationship for so long it has been so unhealthy and unhappy but it has been gone on so long that you just are kind of almost at that place where it's comfortable juggling you know because what when we stay in situations that are not good for us and they don't feel very good it's amazing how quickly the human mind heart and soul can become acceptance of it where we can just say well you know um, Better the devil you know than the one that you don't. That's the phrase they just gave me. And that's what I'm picking up from the Two of Pentacles, Pisces. Underneath it is the Two of Swords. So it's like this, this struggle between your head and your heart. Um, and you're not able to see clearly. I mean, I feel like you are really... I mean, they're giving you the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords. And there's a, the blindfold on both of their eyes here. So it's like you're not able to really see clearly. And that could be because the devil is spinning around you and um, keeping you very confused in a state of unsureness. Uh, that's where the devil gets a control, right? Is when we are so confused and so pretty exhausted and all that stuff that it's really much difficult to get out of it. So if you think of a spider web, um, man, they're giving me all these kind of imageries right now. They're showing me the spider web, and you think you see that spider, and it's sitting up in the corner, and it's a web, and then you see the fly fly in there, and it can't get out. Why? Because it's the more it moves, it well, you know why. The web just forms and spins all the way around it, right? Um, spider moves out quick and just so it's stuck, and it can't get out. And even if it, the spider's not going to eat it for another freaking day, that fly is paralyzed. It can't move. It's stuck. And that's the energy they're giving me that that is how you are feeling if you are relating to this reading, okay? Um, we move on to the Hermit, Major Arcana here. The Hermit is um, Virgo's card. Is it? I always get Virgo and Taurus mixed up because we've got, we've got the Harfin for Taurus and we, yeah, Hermit is Virgo. Sorry, just got to check into my, my brain for a second. The Hermit and then we have the King of Cups. The Hermit in your reading here is saying you really needing to get that clarity. Pisces. You got to get that light going on inside of your heart, inside of your mind, inside of your soul, and really start shining that flashlight tool inward so that you can get your answers, so that you can figure it out, so you can figure out the way to break free from this situation. It is followed by the King of Cups, and the King of Cups, water, Pisces, it's you. Um, 
They're telling you you're going to need to do this so that you can actually become more like the King of Cups. Where you are, this is a father figure as well. Doesn't matter if you're female or male. We both have masculine and feminine energy in us. But this is, he's the king, so he is powerful. He's powerful in his strength, and he's in charge of his emotions. No wave is going to take him out. He is very much at peace. Um, he's also very protective. He's also very loving, too. So I feel like in order for you to get your balance back in your emotions, well, obviously, they, it's you got to you got to find a way to get out of this relationship. You got to find a way to to break free from the devil, right? Um, and if you're not in a relationship, then this person is still pestering you, is still trying to get at you. And look, we have the six of cups. It's followed by strength. Six of cups again, water. But six of cups is this is a connection that has probably been um, quite long. You know, um, for some of you, it might be a relationship that you were in for six months, maybe six weeks. For others, it could be six years, you know, or pff, 60 years. Um, but Six of Cups showing up is saying that this is a relationship, this situation is connected to your past in some way. Now, if it isn't a romantic relationship, but I think for most it was with the Knight of Cups showing up, it could be a family member, it could be a friend. But I think for the majority of you guys, this is about an unhealthy, um, toxic relationship that you know that you need to get out of. And if you've gotten out of it, but they're still hassling you, you know that you need to find a way to break free from them once and for all. It's followed by strength, Leo's card. So obviously it's saying you got to turn, use that strength, use your bravery, be courageous here. You've got to utilize that inner ability that you do have Pisces to really push through so that you can break the chains. Underneath the, the Knight of Cups, I just want to mention this quickly and then we'll keep shuffling. Yeah, we have the Magician. This is a beautiful energy that Spirit is saying, look, you, you, can, you can do this. You can do this. You can get away from this if you want to. You have everything that you need, all the resources to get out of it, even if you think you don't. And again, it's followed by the net of swords. So I'm telling you, the energy they're giving me here is that this has been a very stressful, stressful situation. Wow. And I feel very unhealthy. Very unhealthy. Okay. Let's move into my animal spirit deck and get some clarifiers, see what else spirit wants to add here for Pisces. Six of cups on the bottom here. That's two sixes of cups, double confirmation. That's powerful when spirit comes through and gives me the same cards twice. They really want me to hammer in the message. That this is, again, they're giving it to me like it's connected to, to someone in your past here. Um, at one time though, it probably felt pretty good. But then after time, True intentions have been shown. True personalities have come through. And it, and it doesn't feel very nice. Okay. What else do we have for Pisces for this reading? Show me clearly, please, Spirit. What else do they need to know? Okay, three of cups and the ten of swords, so it's coming to an end. Three of cups showing up here. This is a nice energy. Um, Pisces, maybe you can rely on a few other people here. Maybe there's a couple of people that you can really trust to help you get out of this, to help you break out of this. <coughs> um, because the three of cups is usually about very close people near you and um, really being able to confide and share your actual real emotions and what you're really feeling and that there's support there for you. I'm also being drawn to the three birds at the very top. It's like you need to speak, you need to speak up. And if you're in an abusive relationship, Pisces, and you know, I really hope that that is not for very few, if any. Um, if, if there's an abusive situation going on, um, and I'm just talking to you here, it's just between you and I really here, um, speak up. Um, I'm really getting that energy. You need to tell someone. Tell someone so that you can get some help and get freed from this. Wow. 
very heavy. Um, but I, I have to let you know, it is coming to an end. There's Ten of Swords. I apologize for the grotesqueness on this card, but the energy needs to come through. Um, there's a bowl and it's got a sword right through its eyeballs, right? Right through its brain. Um, it's coming to an end, but hell, this has been a nightmare. I feel like this has been really, really painful for you. And scary even. I'm even picking up on a little bit of fear, a little bit of, of being afraid. But if you're in this kind of a situation and you really need help, please speak up. Please, please speak up. Yeah, Six of Swords. They want you to know you are going to be moving away from this. You're going to be able to separate. They're helping you. Ask your angels to help you. Look, you're moving towards that rainbow on the top and moving away from this negative stuff. Four of Cups on the bottom. Again, it's just pay attention to the rat here. It's the rat energy that I'm picking up. Um, wow. Four of Cups can be stuck, you know. Stuck. Cannot move. Because the devil is not letting you. You know, and the devil can be addictions and all that kind of stuff too, but I'm really not picking that up for you. Um, it could be someone, the, the person that is involved here may have some addictive, um, might be addicted to something. You know what? Let's get a clarifier on the devil. Who is the devil? Show me a little bit more. Whoa. Okay. That's too many cards here. We're going to try again. Spirit, let's show me clearly. Who's the devil? What is this? Can you please elaborate a little bit more? Daughter of Wands. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Okay. Page of Wands is fire, right? Wands are fire. Um, Page of Wands is usually the energy of, of like, you know, following your passion in the very beginning stages. Um, I, it's interesting, this animal spirit deck, spirit works way different, it communicates very differently with me, channels, the channels I, channeling messages that I get are so much different, they're so much deeper, um, the drawing, it's just about the snake here, it's a snake, the devil is the snake, and I feel like they promised you roses and flowers, and look, you know, take that metaphorically, right? They made a lot of promises because there's flowers on here um, and the flowers are blooming off of the wand, but there's a snake all the way around it. So I feel like this person was very sneaky. Could be a fire sign, right? Wands, so um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Okay, what else, what else um, do you have for Pisces here? Temperance, Sagittarius card, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. And the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is victory. Seven of Swords. The Star. Strength again. Um, <clears throat> so we have Temperance. Patience, it's trying to remain calm, trying to remain grounded through this process here, knowing that the divine is helping you. Temperance is that faded energy that is around you, um, and they're going to see you through this, through this situation, through this, this, this. It's a challenge, man. We have the wheel of fortune. Uh, that's positive. Um, it's like you're getting freed from this. Obviously, you're going to probably have to do some of the work here. Um, but it will change the way the Wheel of Fortune spins. Um, this is more of a blessings card coming through. And then we have the Six of, of Wands, which is victory. And we have the Seven of Swords, which I feel is more to do with this person. Seven of Swords is that sneaky energy. But... Okay, what they're giving me here so, is a lot. And I'm, I'm feeling a little emotional here, Pisces, so my apologies. I'm trying to really keep it together and just be the messenger. But the energy I'm feeling is quite, um, it's quite heavy. It's just heavy. So um, six of wands. 
rebirth here and you start look at pay, pay attention to that beautiful butterfly the butterfly has gone through horrendous time when they're in the cocoon cannot be easy to transform from a, um, a caterpillar into a butterfly I mean there is a metamorphosis that is happening and it probably is very painful so you have gone you are going through that but you will be the butterfly um, six of wands is a victory card too um, it is a winning card. You are victorious. You will be victorious. The Seven of Swords, as I said, is typically I pick up on this energy as a sneaky, um, sneaky devil kind of energy. It's someone trying to get away with something, trying to keep things under wraps. Um, I'm feeling more that you, we just talked about the butterfly. Oh, shit. How can I be that blind sometimes? Right, they're like, oh, they, they pointed out to me. The butterfly. Oh, camera's now screwing up the energy. Hmm. Um, seven of seven of swords. I feel like this devil has kept you in lockdown. Could be physically, but it's definitely mentally and emotionally locked down. So you're going from that, and you're going to be the butterfly. Um, there's something here about the seven of swords that you've kept yourself quiet too. You've kept yourself really quiet about this and you need to speak up, you need to do something different. The star, Aquarius, this is your card, it is showing up in your reading. That even makes it that much more powerful of a frequency coming through. The star, healing is gonna happen. You are being protected and guided here. There is healing, you, there's gonna be, um, you are gonna be renewed. This has probably taken such a hell of a toll on you. Um, so it's probably been very heavy, heavy, heavy. But you just trust and know, just know, have faith that this is all going to work out for you. You know, you're going to be free from this, from this bad energy. Um, and then strength. We, so we have strength now twice. And I will show you the, I want to show them both to you. Um, and what's really beautiful here, I love this. Two different decks, Lightseer deck and the Animal Spirit deck. They both have infinity on them. On my Lightseer's deck, it's on her arm. And on this um, deck, it's on the third eye. I feel like that infinity symbol showing up here is just to let you know that it's that reminder of connection to spirit, to source, um, and that you are not going to be alone. And you're never alone here. Like there are, call upon your angels here to help you get through. But man, it is going to take a little bit. It's going to take a little bit, but you can do this you can break away from this um, once and for all and I really feel that spirit wants you to know that this is going to be the best thing for you no matter how hard it is right sometimes even if you're in an abusive relationship sometimes it feels like it's easier to stick around than to leave but that's the toxicity so I mean take this how you need to take it if it's resonating okay um, let's get one final card, and then I will get you a Wisdom Oracle, and we'll close this reading off for you, Pisces. I said Aquarius. Why did I say Aquarius? With star. Okay, maybe some of you are involved with an Aquarius, okay? Um, I'm just channeling, so everything that they're giving me, I'm just blah, 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 my, my Sometimes I speak so fast, I, I, I don't even know what I've said. But maybe some of you are um, dealing with an Aquarius here. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Because I know I'm doing Pisces reading here. Very weird. Okay. I feel like that was one. One final card, please. Show me clearly, Spirit. Whoa! Okay, that's like so many. Um... Oh, wow. I didn't even realize I flipped the deck over, but okay. Justice. Justice is showing up. Libra's card. Everything will be balanced. The truth will be, will be revealed. And justice is going to be brought in here. Two of Pentacles again, but it is the butterfly. You're transforming here. There's a big transformation happening. Mother of Swords, yes. This is about you being able to get very clear in your mind. It's Queen of Swords. She can be even cold, but it's because she cannot stand anyone that is a manipulator or that is an abuser or that is just a controller. She can't handle that stuff. She, so she cuts them off. She uses that Truth of Sword. 
Uh, yeah, there's a tower. Tower. The tower along with the three of swords. So, my love, Pisces, I am so sorry if you're going through this. Really, I emotionally can feel the pain, the scaredness, the worry. But please just trust. If this is your situation, destiny, divine, whatever you want to call it, they're coming through to help you. It's coming down now. You're going to be breaking free from it. No more pain anymore. This foundation is false. So they're bringing it down so that it is over. Well, okay. I'm going to get you one card out of my Wisdom Oracle. I hope this is helping if this reading is resonating with you. Well, we have on the bottom of the deck, Orphan. But it's in reverse. Upright, this is a very isolated energy. This is feeling like you're just broken, um, just alone, all that kind of energy. But I do feel that it's connected to the devil, but it is a reverse. You're being freed from this now. You're being freed. Wow, I'm gonna put it back in. Um, okay, show me clearly. What last final message do you have for our gorgeous Pisces who are going through this? Please show us clearly. What do you have for Pisces? These cards are just feeling really weird. Between worlds. Oh my gosh. That is exactly where you are. Between worlds. You're just stuck. Okay, so now we're going to use your strength. You're going to, you've got to push through. Between worlds is just saying exactly where you are. It is like the two of pentacles, the two of swords. It's like you are not quite in it's desolate on one side and it's beautiful on the other side, but you're stuck in the middle. So something has to happen here to release you so that you can move on. It is a number three too. So threes for me are very spiritual numbers. They're very powerful. They're the div divinity, right? So three is like powerful. Bottom of the deck, oh, highest, higher power. Higher power is going to be stepping in here. Your angels, your guides, as I said, whatever you believe, source, you know, they're stepping in, they're watching it, they've seen it all, and they're going to step in and bring you peace and release and freedom. Okay. All right. Pisces, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, my heart goes to you. No, you're not alone. If you're going through this and you want to text me or you, I mean, you want to leave me a message, I'll respond. You know, I always try to respond to everyone. Just know that you're not alone. Okay. Um, much love. Wishing you so much healing and peace here, and um, just take care, good care of yourself, all right? We'll see you next time.